Hey everybody, whether you are a new Ram owner or are considering buying a Ram truck, there are some things that you just learn about the truck that aren't in the owner's manual. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of those things. Using the cruise control button, we need to turn it on and we can see that it's on by the white symbol right here. To set the cruise control as we're driving, we would press the set button, either plus or minus. And when we're driving, pressing and releasing that button will change our cruising speed in increments of one. But if I press and hold the set button, it's going to change our cruising speed in increments of five. So if I'm driving at 66, it's gonna move it to 67, then up to 70, and then 75, 80, etc. The first step in disabling the seatbelt chime is to put your seatbelt on when you get inside the vehicle. Next, without putting your foot on the brake, you're gonna press the start button two times to get the vehicle into the run position. Wait for the dials to stop moving here. Then you're going to disconnect your seat belt and put the seat belt back in three times. Two, three. Seat belt in the third time you do it. Next, you'll want to press the start button again to move the vehicle to the off position and then put your foot on the brake and press the start button again to turn the engine on. And now if you've done it properly, the seat belt charm should be disabled. You can test it out by just uh, taking it for a, a little bit of a drive here. I noticed that the first time that the driver's seat belt unbuckled came on, uh, didn't necessarily mean that I had disabled the chime properly. It wasn't until the second time the driver's seat belt unbuckled light came on that uh, I was 100% certain that the seat belt charm had been disabled. Right now I'm holding this 10.1 inch LG tablet uh, and on a long road trip, I may get tired of holding it in my lap, my neck might start hurting, whatever. I can uh, take and put it in this slot, even in the protective case, fits in there nicely. And you can see you've got the access to the USB ports for power right there. This iPad 3 and trying to put it in there when it's in the protective case, this is a little too big there to go in. But when I take it out of the protective case, it does fit in there nicely. As a pro tip, if you come in here and have your iPad and whatever other phones connected, but come into the paired audio sources, then connect the iPad as the audio source, still keeping the phone, whatever phone paired, then you can listen to the movies that your passengers are listening to through the radio sound system. And it's important to note there that if you are running Android Auto or Apple CarPlay with one of your other devices, that the Bluetooth audio is disabled while you're running those programs with another device. When Ram redesigned their half tons to this fifth generation, they kept in mind the people that use their trucks as mobile offices. So the redesigned center console, while you do have this upper clam tray, whenever you lift up the bottom clam tray, you can see that there are little edges for hanging file folders. Okay, folks, it's a look at how you can use some of the features on your Ram 1500 that is not talked about in the owner's manual.